In this video, I will explain the admin preferences. To do that, go to admin, admin preferences. The first step is general, just some formatting here. So for WBS code, so what is a separator? You want a dot or comma or dash, it's up to you. Starting day of the week, it depends on your location. So Sunday or Saturday and some places all on also in the world have Monday as a starting week, especially Western countries and activity duration. What is the default duration when you insert a new activity? It's five days by default. You will probably change that later, but it is just the default duration. And this is a password policy. So just in case you want to enable password policy. Data limits, so everything in Promovera P6, like sort of hierarchies or biz lines assigned or the data you deal with. So here you can go by, by one by one. In many cases, the values here are enough, it's fine. But sometimes when you work with for a really long time with many projects, it happened to me before that when I add, for example, activity code. So it tells me you reached the maximum number of trees. So to fix that, you go to admin preferences, go here and increase just the value here. But otherwise, in many cases, it will work just fine. And this is for the ID length. So activate ID, resource ID, the same case also. It's 20 maximum, which is more than enough. You want to change that. Like the activity ID, like for example, this activity ID or resource ID. So it's more than enough. I recommended that. It should not be more than 10 or 8, maybe 8 characters are fine. Otherwise, it will be confusing. It will just be hard to recognize and deal with. For time periods, so actually it's a good idea that after you uninstall Promovera right away, you change that. So projects will be in compliance with your hours per time period, how many hours per day. I explained in previous tutorial, you can do that in calendar. In enterprise calendar, you can change the working day, working hours, and also hours per week. So you can do that inside the calendar for the specific project. If you want to make it overall and applies to any project you create, so do it from the beginning and change it here. And this is abbreviation. So D for days, H for hours. So you can change it if you want. And here for the reporting related to headers and footers, this is only the header label you will probably in the print layout you will need to maybe uh, change the text in a way but this is only the label and also for the options it will ask you here to select the summarization periods by calendar or by financial period week but it really doesn't make a difference for you because when we explained the resources we knew how to customize the time scale and how to report them for the proper way so this won't really affect you p6 professional online help this is online help you can click f1 to launch the online help something related to document security this is the rate type you can just keep it price per unit you won't probably need any of that and you can select more than once but it really doesn't matter to you and for industry, so you have to select industry for one reason is after you install Promovera right away, you will always receive this message. The appropriate industry for your organization has not yet been selected in admin preferences. Please contact your administrator. So you'll always have this window every time you log into Promovera. So if you don't want to see it again, go to admin preferences, go to industry, select your industry so you will not get this message again. And finally, exception site list. You can add the list of sites here, enable or disable, but it won't really make any difference for you. It's just something, it will not affect any data or anything you are working on. If you, you want to create sites, that can be treated as an exception, you can just go ahead and do that from here. So that's all for admin preferences. In the next video, we will explain the claim digger.